Hey friend, welcome back to the Sage Audio channel. Today we're gonna to be looking into the top 10 audio file formats. We'll start with the least useful and be working our way to the best options for high fidelity and professional audio. So stick around for the full video, but first, if this is a topic you're interested in, I'd highly recommend checking out the blog associated with this video where we go into much greater detail on this topic. If you're watching on YouTube, just scroll down to the description box to find the link. Also, if you're an artist or an engineer and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. It's completely free. All you have to do is set up the short account, upload the song, and we'll do the rest. At number 10 is the DCD format. A DCD file is a high quality format that's encoded in an entirely unique way. Unlike uncompressed files that use a sampling rate and bit depth, DCD files use only one bit, but samples that bit 2.8 million times a second to recreate the audio file. The result is very similar to a 24 bit 96 kilohertz uncompressed file. Although incredibly innovative and of truly great sound quality, the DCD ranks low on this list due to how incompatible it is with most operating systems. To play a DCD file on a Mac or Windows computer, you would need an external D to A converter. This means that if you intend to send music to clients or maybe send in your files for mastering, sending a DCD file would be a confusing and complex struggle for everyone involved. At number nine, we have the Aug Vorbis. The Aug Vorbis is an open source format that offers a high audio quality to file size ratio. Due to being exceptionally well designed, the file size for this format can range from 16 kilobytes per second to 128 kilobytes per second per file, while still maintaining quality. Despite being capable of delivering good audio quality at a fraction of the storage space of other lossy files, the Aug Vorbis has yet to reach wide acceptance. Although the open source platform results in a great community offering innovative ideas, relying on this community for the playability of your files may be concerning to some engineers. However, Spotify has surprisingly adopted the AUG format for their streaming services. With that said, if you're looking to hear how your music will sound on Spotify, converting it to this file format will give you a good idea. At number 8, we have the lossless version of the WMA format. This lossless format can handle files up to a 24-bit depth and 96 kHz sampling rate and reproduce them without losing data. However, the compression used is less effective and takes up more space than other lossless formats. Furthermore, it's difficult to find support for the WMA lossless format aside from the Windows Media Player. That being said, if you were to send a WMA lossless file to a Mac owner or an Apple device user, they'd most likely be unable to play the files unless they converted it first. Unless you and your clients strictly use Windows hardware and software, then this may not be the file type for you. But if you are a Windows operating system user and you need a way to cut down on some of your stored backup files, the WMA lossless format would be a great option for this. At number seven, we have the lossy version of the WMA. Originally touted to be the superior lossy file format, the WMA has since lost some of the initial excitement surrounding it. Objectively, it does offer better audio quality than some of the other lossy file formats like the MP3, but not enough to be noticed by most listeners. Just like the WMA lossless format, it doesn't translate well to other operating systems, meaning it can really only be played on Windows devices. With that in mind, the cons of not being able to share this file type to an Apple user definitely outweighs any minor benefit in audio quality the WMA lossy offers. At number six, we have the ALAC, which is often thought of as Apple's lossless format. Like the lossless WMA format previously mentioned, the ALAC format compresses the audio but does not discard information. Instead, it categorizes redundant information and unpacks it when needed. Unlike the lossless WMA format, the ALAC supports files with a bit depth of up to 32 bits and a sampling rate of up to 384 kHz. This makes it a great option for anyone looking to better store extremely high quality files. The only issue with this file is its inability for all listeners to instantly play it, regardless of their PC or Mac preference. But again, if you're a Mac user and you have some truly large files that are eating a hole in your storage, the ALAC format is a great choice. At number five, we have the MP3. The MP3 is probably the most popular audio file format on this list. If you've listened to music regardless of the device, you've almost certainly listened to an MP3. 
Now, regardless of the platform, the operating system, or software, an MP3 will most likely play, making it a great choice for anyone looking to have their music instantly playable. That being said, an MP3's lack of quality can easily be noticed when comparing it to a higher quality file. If you're willing to sacrifice quality for a small file size, ease of use, and streamability, then the MP3 is a great file format. At number four, we have the AAC. The AAC lossy file format came out soon after the MP3 and with the intention of becoming a better, more popular version of its predecessor. Although it did manage to become the better file format, it never did match the MP3's popularity. Regardless, the AAC file format is a great choice for creating and sending small compressed files. It's supported on just about as many platforms as the MP3, but has a much more complex compression algorithm, meaning less relevant information is deleted. This means that the AAC offers a higher quality than the MP3 at a very similar file size. Considering it can be played in almost as many ways as the MP3, the AAC is currently the best lossy file format available. Number three is the FLAC format. The FLAC lossless file offers the highest quality to file size ratio of any of the file formats on this list. It can recreate files as large as 32 bits and 192 kilohertz sampling rate, all while being able to reduce the file size by up to 70%. Although FLAC is not supported by iTunes, it is supported by QuickTime, the software used to quickly preview files on Apple operating systems. This means that regardless of being a PC or an Apple user, FLAC files can be sent, received, and played without the need for conversion or third-party softwares. With that in mind, the FLAC format is a go-to choice for anyone looking to send lossless compressed audio files. At number two is the AIFF format. The AIFF uncompressed file format is the professional file used on Apple software. This means it's a PCM or a pulse code modulation that doesn't compress or delete the audio in any way. You may notice that when recording in Logic, AIFF is one of your two choices. Both WAV files and AIFF files represent the highest quality possible in the audio world. They are the files of choice of any mixing or mastering engineer looking to retain the highest quality possible. The only reason the AIFF file didn't make the top of this list is because it's slightly lesser known than its Windows counterpart. Regardless, the AIFF file is identical to the WAV file in terms of quality, just not in a claim. At number one is the WAV format. As you may already know, the WAV format is the go-to file type for recording, mixing, and mastering. It is also widely recognized as the professional audio format. This means that the majority of uploads, be it to Apple Music, Spotify, or any streaming service will support and sometimes even demand a WAV file. If you're looking for a file format that doesn't compromise on quality and is widely recognized as the best, most professional file format, then the WAV format is the best choice. Granted, you don't save on space with a WAV file, but if you're working in a professional setting, be it in audio or video, the odds are you've extended your storage space to work with the best file types available. So what do you think? Do you agree with our list? If not, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if you'd like to learn more about this topic, I'd highly recommend checking out the blog that's associated with this video, where you can find a lot more information on this topic and many others like it. Also, if you're an artist or an engineer, you can send us one of your mixes at sageaudio.com. We'll master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. All you got to do is set up the short account upload the song, and we'll do the rest. But thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share this video with your friends. Also, you can subscribe to the channel. That way you stay up to date on all of our latest releases. There's a comment section where you can leave your thoughts on this video, or you can leave a suggestion for a future video. And again, if you're an artist or an engineer, and you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us at sageaudio.com, where we will master it for you and send you a free mastered sample. Again, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.